These clips are all people missing by a long, long way. We're talking balls flying everywhere. It's like watching Linford Christie doing a naked cam cam. Ball bounces out to Marcus Hall, who'll strike one. High, wide, and not at all handsome. This game remained goalless, and probably would have done if it had gone on for three years. Simon Coleman fails to worry the defence. Coleman but succeeds in worrying his friends, family, teammates and manager. David Hopkin gets distracted by the £1,500 prize money on the hoarding behind. This is Lusso. Oh, an interesting shot. Despite being married, Lusso was constantly dogged by rumours about his sexuality. Is this corner flag trying to tell us he swings both ways? Frankie van der Elst. Far and away, Belgium's greatest ever footballer. I'm talking of far and away, these fans returning the ball were in a different stadium, some 40 miles west. Good run here by Carlton Palmer. Kept his feet, kept his balance, but didn't keep his composure. Carlton Palmer has the right idea. The goalie is off his line. Unfortunately, he chips the first 14 rows of the stand, too. It's only Adams. A 4A. <laughs> and he might smile at it, the finish as much as the fans. Tony Adams was breathalyzed and arrested after this, um, shot? Cross. Clearance? I don't know. This thing. I can hardly contain my excitement because we can finally reveal the winner in the most really, really overused clip of all time category. Mind you, you can probably tell me what's going to happen. Well, what on earth did he do that for? It's a red card, is it? It was at first, now it's the yellow one. That was completely unnecessary. This one's been shown so often that the tapes virtually had it. Oh. There it goes. Just as well that's another collection of clips done and dusted. I'm quite sad it's over. Still, I'm sure there'll be another one along in about an hour. <laughs>